Hi everyone, in this video we're looking at pattern coding, uh, which is a second degree pattern and uh, in many groups has been replaced by uh, pattern Juche. Uh, in Puma we teach both to second degrees. Okay. So uh, as you can see the ready position is Mo Chumbi Soggy C and from there we can take the right foot out uh, to 45 degrees behind us sitting stance palm pushing block okay so making sure that palm pushing block is on the shoulder line and then on the spot middle punch from there moving the right leg in and backwards into l stance forearm guarding block and then on the spot uh, we're going to do a middle inner forearm block with the left hand and a low outer forearm block with the right hand. And then we're going to move the left foot and repeat that combination of four techniques. So palm pushing block, middle punch in sitting stance, and then L stance guarding block, and low block and middle block. Okay, from there we're going to pull the right foot up into bending ready stance, preparing for a back kick behind us. As you're doing that bending stance, lean forwards a little bit and looking over the right shoulder, so spot where that kick's going to go. From there, middle back piercing kick and then land uh, with what should be a middle knife hand block. Okay. And then repeat, bending ready stance, middle back kick, middle knife hand guarding block. Okay, and then step back with a downward elbow thrust in L stance, and again, downward elbow thrust in L stance. From there, stepping forwards, slow motion, walking stance, palm pressing block twice. And then backwards, downward L to forearm block. Uh, so finishing solar plexus height with the hand slightly further away from the body than the elbow and also slightly higher than the elbow. And then step forwards, downward outer forearm block. From there, we're gonna step forwards two times, rear foot stance, upward palm block. Okay, and then we're going to step the uh, right leg backwards into a rear foot stance, and then perform a low front snap kick, landing a twin inward knife hand strike. From there, rising knife hand block, uh, and we're going to do those two techniques should be done in continuous motion. So step back into um, rear foot stance, front snap kick, landing uh, inward knife hand strike and knife hand rising block in continuous motion. From there, stance change, so pulling the front leg back, uh, knife hand guarding block, low section. And then moving the front leg forwards, walking stance, downward punch. From there, moving backwards, we're going to double step slide into L stance knife hand guarding block, midsection. And then on the spot, jump up and land knife hand guarding block. And then jump forwards into X stance, back fist strike, high section. From there, we're going to turn to our left to face the back of the pattern diagram outer forearm high block in walking stance and then Toro outer forearm high block again in walking stance from there stepping forwards uh, L stance upward punch with the four sorry upset punch with the four fist from here uh, pulling the opposite hand to the shoulder and then with the right leg, we're going to perform a uh, middle hooking kick going off 90 degrees to the side. So remember, a traditional hooking kick is a blocking technique, not like a sparring uh, hooking kick. So using the reverse foot sword and then land L stance high cross cut. From there, bring the right leg, right, sorry, right foot to the left foot, left leg out, hooking kick, high cross cut. Uh, Again, hooking kick is midsection, cross cut high section in L stance. From there, bringing the left foot to the right, stepping the right leg out, L stance, high knife hand guarding block, and then left leg in, 
and sorry, right leg in, left leg out, high knife hand guarding block. Okay, and that is Kodang. So from there, to come back to your ready position, bring the left leg back in. Okay, so we'll show you that uh, pattern again uh, with uh, maybe a couple of comments, uh, but we'll go full speed, comments only picking out where there are some technical errors. So here should land middle knife hand block. And again, middle knife hand block. So those two moves should be in continuous motion. High cross cuts and high knife hand guarding blocks, and then the left leg back in. Okay, so there's uh, Kodang. Uh, as always, if you've got any questions, feel free to get in touch. Otherwise, uh, good luck with your practicing.